Did you know you can use Google Drive to host basic websites or even complex JavaScript web apps? You may take advantage of Google Drive's free cloud storage to upload and publish any kind of static content. You can host HTML pages, CSS, JavaScript, icons, images, audio, video and podcasts. Here is the main reasons why you should do it. It's free. Save hundreds of dollars per year in web hosting. It's secure. No bandwidth limits. Your website will never be down. Google servers are very reliable. No FTP software needed. If you want to change something, just replace the file in your Google Drive folder. The disadvantages are. If your website was made with WordPress, Joomla or PHP, this will not work for you. This is only for static websites. Google Drive URL structure cannot be changed. But no worries. There is a way to use your custom domain name. I'll show you in a moment. In this video I will guide you step by step to host your website in Google Drive. Then I will show you how to assign it to your custom domain name. Let's start. I assume you already have your website files. First thing you need is an index.html file. This file will be served when someone tries to access your website. Next, we drop the website folder in the Google Drive, preferably in the root. Now we have to make this folder public. Right-click on the folder and select Get Shareable Link. Before we continue further, make sure the folder name starts with www. Open a new tab in your browser and type drv.tw. Select Google Drive. Sign in with the email associated with the Google Drive account where you uploaded the website files. Click Allow. Now, your website is hosted in Google Drive. And this is the new URL to your website. If you want to use a different domain with your website, follow the steps. Copy the URL. Log in to your domain provider. I recommend purchasing your domain names from Namecheap.com. They have the best prices and amazing support. Select the domain you want to manage. Remove any name servers from your previous web hosting provider. Next, you have to add a new CNAME record. In the host field type www. In the value field, paste the website URL you generated previously. Remove the HTTPS prefix. and remove all the text that comes after the drv.tw. In the TTL field, select 30 minutes. To allow your visitors to access your domain without www, you must add a new URL redirect record. In the value field, type HTTP, followed by your domain name. The records should take up to 30 minutes to get accepted globally. However, since you just changed name servers, it can take up to 48 hours for your site to be up again. You can track the progress of propagation with the help of this tools.
whatsmydns.net. To check your website before the propagation is complete, try this proxy tool which bypasses DNS and local cache. kproxy.com When your DNS is successfully propagated, check the speed of your website. If your website is slower than it used to be, you can take one more step to make it load faster. Go to cloudflare.com and create an account. Add a new website. Type your domain name. Choose the free plan. It's free forever. Copy the value of CNAME record. Create a new TXT record. And in the name field, type www. In the value field paste the text you copied previously. And type drvtw equals. Save it. And click add record. Copy the DNS values and go back to your domain provider and paste it in the name server fields. Save it. Congratulations, your website is now online with no hosting costs.